All right, guys, I want to talk a little bit tonight about something that I've never really discussed about myself. And it's kind of a words of advice to teenagers out here. So, back when I was like 13, going through elementary school, or not elementary, but middle school, high school, I fell into that deep, like, depression, you know, and became a hermit, staying in my room all the time. And I've done this from the time that I was, like, 13 all the way up to now. It's just like 34 years old here. And I did not do a lot of the things that typical teenagers out here do. I didn't go to parties all the time. I didn't hang out with my friends because I didn't have very many. And the biggest thing that I never did was get my license. Now, I mentioned that, you know, the ADHD, my focus was a lot of the reason why I didn't. And that is true. But I bought me a car recently, and today we did some work on it, getting it running a little bit better, changed the oil in it, and my dad, we hopped in it, backed it off the car ramps, and he was like, drive it to the top of the hill up here, and turn around, come back down, and we'll see how it runs, and that was the first time I've got to drive my own car. And it's a wonderful, awesome feeling. So, that's what I want to convey here to some these teenagers out here. I know that right now, especially in these times, mental illness is it's pretty bad for teenagers. And believe me, I've been there. I know exactly what you guys are experiencing. You don't want to do anything. You don't want to go out and get your license because you feel like you got nothing to do anyways and who would care to hang out with you and stuff like that. And your parents are probably hounding you to get up and get a job and go get your license so you can take care of yourself out in this world. Now, yes, I know when you have depression and someone's doing that to you, just get up and do something, you know. Get up out of bed, do something. It's not that simple. Like, depression doesn't work that way. But, if any of you guys out here are afraid to get your license like I was, go out, get your learner's permit if you're 15, and maybe some of your parents don't want you doing it until you're like 17. That's okay. Get your permit, man. Start learning how to drive. Because it will help with your depression. You can, if you get to feeling sad, down on yourself, just go out and take you a drive for a little bit. And one other thing, listen to your parents, man. Because my parents hounded me for years and years and years and years. I wish you learned how to drive. And so... Yes, what kicked it into gear for me was my job. They started wanting me to come in at 6 a.m. and work until 5.30. And I have to do it or I lose my job, you know. And my mom would have to get up. She will have to get up Monday morning and take me to work. She has to get up at 4 o'clock in the morning. Get me up by 4.30. Because I don't use an alarm clock. I never have. But I don't want her to have to do that anymore. And they went on vacation for a whole week. Back in April, my parents did. And I had to rely on someone at work to come get me and bring me home. Had to go buy all my food for the week at Walmart. Because I couldn't go out and get something to eat myself. So if your parents, for you teens out here, if your parents are hounding you, man, I know it might be scary to do it if you're afraid to drive, but 
it really will help you take it from someone that knows being a hermit and staying in your room all the time and doing all that it's no way to live you're not really living and i can't wait i'm extremely happy that my car is doing good it runs good i drove it today even though it wasn't very far but a couple of weeks getting my insurance on that thing I'm going to take it out here and I'm going to start learning how to drive and go get my license finally. And that world, that world of being a hermit, man, it's, it's incredibly lonely. Like a lot of the times I had a few friends and I have two, three that come around, they hang out with me, but it's rare, you know, because they don't want to sit here and do what I do, play video games, play guitar, watch some movie, and, you know, they, they want to go out and do things, let's go out and do something, dude, and it's really, sorry, my irritation, <laughs> it's a really tough thing to break, when you get, when you become so used to something like this, it's like all, it's all you know. And I was afraid, I'm still nervous about driving, but today, I drove my car to the top of the hill, I was nervous, but I know now that the more I do it, the more that's going to go away, it's going to fade, and it's like a whole new world is going to open up. If my parents leave and go on vacation again, I can go out and get something to eat, or people want me to come hang out with them. I can take my car and go out, go to their houses and hang out. I can go to pawn shops. I can go down to Atlanta. Cause I live in Georgia. I can go down to Atlanta and go to guitar shops down there or the mall or something like that. And my friends don't have to come and get me and do all the driving. Cause that's, it's a good, it's a good hour away from where I live at. But the hermit world, man, it's just, it's lonely. You stay down on yourself. You stay depressed. And my parents hounding me about getting my license, it made me feel like I was, like I wasn't what I wanted to be. I'm not where I want to be in my life. But to all you out there, all you teenagers, or even adults that don't drive, you know, I know plenty. I know plenty, but they all have reasons. But some of us, like me, we're afraid of it. I'm not so much now, but I know how it is. But if you don't work through that fear, you might miss out on some really great things. You know, I did not have very many girlfriends in high school. Because I was the weird kid that never talked a lot. All I wanted to do when I was in high school, all I wanted to do was go to school, get my day over, come home, sit in my room by myself. And that's, it's all you know. It's call, It's almost like, you know, you've heard the expression, being in prison, people get out of prison and then they end up right back within three months or a year because it's all they know. It's like you're imprisoning yourself. I've, I have spent, I've lived here for the last 20, almost 22 years. And I've stared at these four walls. Every day. But I had jobs. Yeah, I have a job right now. But I have to rely on my parents to take me to work. And it's like, what if something happens to them? What am I going to do? I mean, yeah, it's a 10 minute drive. For me to go to work. But I can't walk that in 10 minutes. Now maybe I could. If it was like the convenience store out here from my house. But no. Where I work at. Is about 10 to 15 minute drive. I couldn't walk that. I'd be late every day. End up losing my job. And have no way to live. No way to take care of myself. So it's just like. It's a word of. Encouragement. It's a word of. Personal experience. That I wanted to give you guys out here today. Or tonight. Late, late tonight. 
just because, you know, I'm just experiencing what I should have experienced at 16. But no, I let what's in here, my ADHD, my focus, and all that scare me away from wanting to drive. But not anymore, because I know now I can do it. I may have to, you know, focus a lot and be like, okay, don't get distracted when you're driving in traffic and stuff like that. But I can do it. And I believe in myself now. I have the confidence. And depression can really kill that too. It kills your confidence. It kills your self-esteem. And it kills how you look at yourself. How you think other people look at you. Like I know someone. I won't mention any names. But when I met this person they were a teenager. And they had depression. And I would hear her, their parents. Every day. They'd be telling me about it. They want me to get up and go get a job. And, and get a car and all of this. But the depression she that she had. It was a female. That she had would not let her do it. So yeah your mind can really scare you out of things. But don't let that happen. I did. And look at what it did to me. Like I said in my previous depression video, I spend more time alone than I do with people around me. And I'm very socially awkward. I don't speak a lot. This I can do because I'm basically just yammering on to myself until someone watches this video. But anyway, all you teenagers, man. Get your learner's permit and go out there and get your real license, get you a car, and it will open up really great things. And here's another reason that I never got mine, just to kind of add to some other things that scared me away from it. I had always thought for most of my life that I would die in a car accident. I've always thought this, either a car accident was going to take me out, a heart attack from heart disease, or cancer. Because of family history. That's what I've always thought. And so that kind of shied me away from it too. But you can't live in fear like that. And being a hermit, if any of you guys out here are a hermit like that, it's no way to live it can mentally destroy you if you let it. Just like Robin Williams, I heard. He also grew up never having a lot of friends. And so what did he do? He created his own friends inside of his mind. And that's where his sudden break into a character thing that he would do came from. He would give them character traits. And then he would give them their own voice. And so, yeah, your mind can really scare you out of things. It can make you shy away from things. And it can make you just think all kinds of negative thoughts about yourself. And I would like to quote Mr. Steve Vai. He said, he was talking about depression one time, and he said, All depression is, is the quality of your own thoughts. If you continue to think negative thoughts about yourself and tear yourself down, like, I can't do this, I can't do that, I'll never be good enough for this, it's going to make that your reality. And he said, you'll think all kinds of negative thoughts in your head about yourself that just are not true. But you will believe that they're true. And he said, that's all depression is. Is the quality of thoughts in your own head. So, everybody out there, always think positive. 
build yourselves up, build other people up. And to you teenagers, man, don't be a hermit in your rooms. Get out there into the world. Because I'm 34 years old and I didn't do that. And now, since only today, since I drove my car for the first time today, I just realized it. It hit me like a ton of bricks. Why did I wait so long? What? Why did I not do this? I should have done this years ago. And I've been told, you know, you wasted your teenage life. Your teenage years were wasted away. And now I can see why I was told that. So I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a advice, I guess you'd say. Encouragement. And personal experience, once again. Get out there. Live life to the fullest. Because tomorrow is not promised. So everyone that watches this, I hope you have a great night. And take care of yourselves out here. And you teenagers that are, first, are just now getting your license. Be safe on those roads. You can do it. So, please like and subscribe. If you enjoyed this little video here, and everybody that's watched, keep on watching. I appreciate it, and I really enjoy doing this. Thanks to everyone for watching.